This book, Haifa Fragments, marks a bit of a departure for New Internationalist. Although we publish 10 to 12 books a year, most of those are non-fiction. But we have established a bit of a niche for ourselves as a publisher of short stories from around the world, and we'd like to extend that range to include novels. This book is the first fruit of that. It's written by a Palestinian woman called Khulud Hamis. The central character, my son, is a fascinating creation. Uh, she's a thoroughly modern woman who's torn in all kinds of different directions. She's a Palestinian, but she's also an Israeli citizen, and she speaks Arabic and Hebrew interchangeably. She visits the refugee camps on the West Bank, sometimes illegally, but her own everyday reality is very different from that. She designs jewellery, and her work attracts the notice of a Jewish Israeli shop owner who seems to offer her the possibility of both money and creative fulfilment. But would that be a betrayal? She comes from a Christian family, but her boyfriend is Muslim, and that creates its own problems. Also, her own sexuality is problematic because she comes entangled with a young woman from the camps. Plus, her own father, who she had always conceived of as being the most conformist and least political of men, um, turns out to have had a lively past as a campaigner and a lover, and that turns her sense of him upside down. Now, We've always tended to think of Palestinians as victims and to see them only in opposition to Jewish Israelis. But the conflicted, problematic identity of a Palestinian Israeli is something that very few of us in the wider world have paid much attention to. And living with my son as she tries to negotiate this minefield is illuminating in all kinds of ways. I hope that Haifa Fragments will be the first of many New Internationalist novels.